Make sure you stay until the end. We will explain common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays, guys, and how that can cost you quite a bit of money that you don't need to spend. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Malibu. We're talking about this generation here from year 2016 all the way to currently 2023. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where you need to find the data link connector fuse, guys. This is the one where you plug in the diagnostic port. Uh, you plug your diagnostic tool under the dash. Stabilizers will explain which fuse you need to check if your scanner doesn't connect, where you can find it where you can buy guys cheap parts tools uh, fuses relays at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure it's stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys if you have a chevy malibu we're talking about that generation here from 2006 to all the way 2023 guys if you have one of those we'll be making a video about every fuse every relay in that car why we do that guys to save you time and money let's say you're down the road you're in the middle of nowhere your car does not start you're trying to find where the engine starter fuse or fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do come to the channel search less than one two minutes you fix that problem you're back on the road because sometimes in the menus it, it will not be cleared it will not be mentioned guys if you need to buy guys okay any parts tools fuses anything for your chevy money boy the really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out now here in the garage guys we constantly work on things constantly working on new vehicles guys we do engine work mechanical work transmission work body work anything you can think of so we're constantly adding new vehicles so if you need help with anything just leave a comment below so let's go ahead and start on it now so now the data link connector fuse guys where it's located will demonstrate on this 2017 chevy malibu guys this one right here you have uh, by the way two different fuse boxes in this car and today we'll be working in just one of them and it's easy to get all we have to do open the driver's side door guys when you open the driver's side door on the left side of the steering wheel if we zoom in a little bit you will see that under the headlight switch here you have one cover remove that cover guys open it and you will see a fuse box that will look just like this one here but before we continue let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so here which fuse you will need to check if we zoom in a little bit guys okay uh, the fuses do not go in numbers, so that's a little bit chaotic. For instance, that's fuse 1 through 9, then it starts 38, 9, 44, 142. So it's a little bit, guys, weird here, but the fuse that we need to come, it will be in that row. You start counting fuse number 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That 7.5 amp fuse is the one that you will need to check for the data link connector. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.